Hello everyone, welcome to the Study Hacks Institute of GIS and Remote Sensing. Today I will try to discuss a very important topic, mainly how we can easily calculate the volume of water body. Any water body, it can be lake or it can be pond or it can be any reservoir water body. How we can easily calculate the volume? So here you can see I already imported the two things. One is the NWI map as well as also imported the digital elevation model. If you don't know how to download the NWI data as well as also them, you can simply follow my tutorial link. Here I already attached in the I button. You can simply check it and then you can easily continue from this video. Then I hope you can easily download the dem as well as the NWI map from Google Earth Engine. So after downloading these two images, dem and NWI, so here you can see I can already download it this NWI. So now I want to add the visualization for this NWI. So just simply click on the NWI and go to the properties. And here you can see about the properties. I want to show the color plated so it look more better for the visualization. I want to use this type of color plated. And further apply and okay. So now here you can see so we can easily detect it's our water body. Okay, it's our reservoir water body or lake water body. We can get this type of water body. As well as also you can see the another thing is the dam data. So I also try to add the dam visualization. Simply click on here and go to the properties. And further I want to show this type of on dam data visualization. For that I want to choose it. Suppose I want to put uh, this type of things and apply and OK. So now here you see I can get this type of uh, dam data as well as I also get this type of NWI map in here. So now I will show you that how we can easily monitor the water volume of this reservoir. For doing these things, first of all, I need to some calculation. It's called the raster calculation. I simply go to the catalog and further click on the system toolbox. And here you can see about that raster calculation. Uh, if you want, you can search the search bar. You can simply click on the search and then you can simply search the tool. tool. Simply search here, suppose raster. calculator and simply search so here you can see that uh, one is the raster calculator special edition simply click on here raster calculator and further you can simply find out the conditional you can simply put the math plot double click on the plot and then further double click on the any wi tip and then put here the greater than equal fine 0.1 okay and further i just click the app okay so now it calculate the raster calculator and create the new layer look like that here you can see we find out this type of new layer one is true about that water another show is for that on water so now I try to add the color. Suppose I want to show this type of color for water. Again, then okay. And I also want to show suppose uh, this type of uh, hollow color about that. So just simply okay. So now here again, so we can get that two things. It's our water body. We can get this type of water body, and one is for the non-water body. I want to mainly measurement what's the volume of water for this water body. So for that, I just simply uh, make the raster to vector. In this time, it's a raster. So now I want to convert into vector, mainly vector polygon. So just to simply search on the search bar, and then further search here, raster to polygon. Simply search here, raster to polygon, and simply search here. So now it's open. You can see raster to polygon conversion tool. Simply click on here, and further I simply convert it from raster to polygon. So just I simply select my uh, this file, and then further just click on the OK. So now it convert into raster to polygon. So here you can see so you can get this type of things. 
So just I try to put here this solo color for the better visualization about our water body. You can see we can get this type of water body look like that. So now from here I need to select only for the water body and remove all of other feature. So I just keep only water body part and other feature don't need. So for doing these things what can I do for that? Just I simply click on here and you can say edit feature. So start editing. And then click on here. Okay, now you can see it selected the water body portion. Okay. So my water body portion is selected. After doing these things, I just simply uh, click on here and go to the attribute table. And I want to keep only for the water body part and other part I want to remove from here. So for that here you can see I just simply switch selection and further just remove in here okay so now we can get only for the one feature here you can say I can get only for the one boundary of water body it's selected here you can say I can get only for the one water body okay so now it's selected this water body so now I just simply stop editor just click on and stop editing and then save to the yes okay and further i want to calculate this area of this water body so for that click on here and go to the uh, add field i want to add the field about the area and this area is mainly for the floating i choose the double and further okay and now i want to calculate this area so click on here and go to the calculate geometry and yes and in this time you can see it not to work because in this time we need to change the projection in this time we need to convert the projection from projected coordinate system okay we need to need the projected coordinate system now it shows the geographic project, uh, coordinate system so now we need to convert geographic coordinate system into the projected coordinate system then we can calculate the area so let's go how we can really convert this thing so simply click on the layers and go to the uh, your uh, properties from the properties we can get the coordinate system and further we find out the projected coordinates in here you can see that show the projected coordinate system folder simply click on here and further you can get the utm zone so click on the utm zone and now i want to find out that wgs 1984 and it's the northern hemisphere for my study area or if you want to choose it what is your study area about that so now i want to check it Okay, suppose if you want to check it from here suppose i just simply open my google and try to search here suppose basically this is my study area from this study this is my study area okay so this is my study area and this study area is uh, put in here look like that so here you can see so now i want to find out what is that coordinate system about that okay for this part so for that part you have to simply uh, search here in the google what is the coordinate system about that and you can simply use it for the projected coordinate system okay so you can see search on the google and you can easily get it so in this time i simply put here that coordinate system uh wgs 1984 46 degree not uh okay 40 i use the 42 but you can simply search on the google and find out find out your uh projected coordinate system and select that then apply and also okay in this time you can see when i put at the 42 degree not it will be just a move so it means that it's not the correct coordinate system about that so let me try again for other suppose i put at the 44 and apply okay so now it's also okay or 45 apply okay okay i just tried to use at the 44 okay and you, you need to check it for your own study area and also okay okay and further just click on the area in this time you can see it will be open the calculate geometry and we can easily calculate the area for the different types of units so just i simply put here and here you can see that uh, i want to calculate the area in hectare unit so just click on the hectare or if you want you can also see the other unit also available from here a square kilometer i want to show the square kilometer and then okay and then also yes so now it calculate the water body area in, in a square kilometer unit so these are one water body so that's how we can get the one water body area total water body area 263.3 uh, 8, 8, 8, square 
kilometer area we can get for hand so this is our area not our volume so for the volume calculation what we can do for the volume calculation we need the dem data so here you can see i already get the dem data so yeah so you can see this is my dem data i already created the dem data so now this dem data i want to clip according to my study area okay for that what can i do just i simply click on here and go to the extract by max so here you can see the special analytics tools and you can simply extraction click on the extract by max double click and input raster in this time put here that uh, dem data we see you downloaded i already keep the dem data and then input feature in this time is select about that our our uh, water body area so this is our water body area i selected that and then okay so now it created the another dem data only for my water reservoir okay you can see it create the another water body only for my reservoir but in this time i want to you can see you can see this is the dem data okay only for my water body area so now further i want to check about this uh, for uh, projection so simply click on the properties and you can simply click on the general or then source here you can see about that projected coordinate system or geography you can simply change it you can see the uh, coordinate system is the wgs984 so this projection system i need to change it i need to use the same projected coordinate system then we can get the better result so for that what can i do for that i simply uh, click on here or if you want you can simply search here uh, simply click on the search and prepare the raster projection so just simply search here i simply search suppose remove that i simply search here raster projection raster projection simply search here simply search so here again so you can get that project raster simply click on here and for the input raster i simply put here this second layer mainly extract tip you can see this is the extract tip i simply click on here and select that and i want to convert the raster so input coordinates I simply click on here i want to put the projected coordinate system simply click on here and further i want to just uh, keep the same coordinate system okay which i want to put for the first time i want to put here that wgs uh, 90 uh, for, uh, 44 45 degree north so just click on here not the name is paired and further keep uh, find out the wgs 1984 45 degree north here you can see the wgs 1984 45 degree north yeah so just simply select that and also okay and also click to the okay so now it creates the projected coordinate system for my dem data but that i use this data and I, I try to calculate about that volume so you can get this is the final product you can see so in this time we can get the projected coordinate system look like that so now i will show you that how we can easily calculate the how we can easily calculate the surface volume of water and then we can calculate these things for doing this thing we have to find out a tool this tool mainly call that i can simply search here or you can simply go to the catalog tool then you can easily get it so for doing these things we can simply uh, open the surface analysis toolbar and go to the 3d uh, analysis tools and here you can see about that uh, surface analysis tool so just i simply click on get a catalog and here you can find out a tool this tool called that uh you can see the 3d analysis tool so just simply click on here and further you can get the tool about that uh raster surface so click on the raster surface and here you can see about that a new tool this called that raster uh, surface analysis you can get that the surface volume okay so here you can see surface volume is available or not so for if you want you can simply search on that it's also more better you can easily find out that surface volume and then you can easily work with that suppose i just simply uh, search the search in here surface volume 
surface volume then it automatically come so just simply search so here again so you can get the surface volume analysis tool we can get it surface volume so just click on here and for the input surface in this time you can simply put here the final uh, projected roster so simply click on here and in this step it's very important reference plan you want to calculate the surface volume above or below in this time i want to calculate the volume of water from the below of that uh, reservoir or lake or water body or pond so further we have to use at that uh, below option we have to select the below okay and in this time all of the things will be okay if you want you can simply choose a, a specific folder for, for your output so just i simply put here that i simply select the desktop i put suppose is that or uh, i put the suppose uh, result okay and further save the result and then further just click on the okay so now in this time it calculate the surface volume from the below we can get all of result from here so just i open it from here you can say simply open so now we can easily get about that all of information for the surface volume surface we can easily get you can see this is the total volume of the reservoir water body we can get this is the value about that okay we can get the area 2d area 3 and also get the volume about the total volume of the reservoir of water body or lake or pond so basically this is the process to identify or calculating the lake or pond water volume using the arc map or okay, downloading the NWI and also download the team data i hope you can easily get this idea and further if you have any question you can simply comment in this section then i will also give the answer as well as if you want to join my online training program on arc map or rgis you can simply contact with me then you can easily join okay as well as if you want you can also join in my google earth engine online training program or machine learning deep learning just simply uh contact with me i will give all of the information in the video description you can simply check it and then you can join thank you for watching that stay happy